Hi everyone, it's Andrea checking in. Uh, Thursday the 21st of October 2013. I had to get on and tell you about something that happened to me at the supermarket today. I was just shopping, getting a bit of stuff here and there and uh, an old lady come up to me and I just smiled at her and she kept shaking her head and I wasn't quite sure why she was shaking her head. And she goes, look at her, what is wrong with her? And I look and there's a lady with a pram and she's got a toddler and a baby. And she was probably about 250 pounds. And this woman felt the need to ask me what I thought was wrong with her and why was she so disgusting? And why did she think that she could be that fat? I mean, are you kidding me? Like, I just stood there. I think, I'm sure my chin dropped to the floor. I could not believe what this woman was saying to me. It really, really pissed me off. I got really upset. I didn't really answer her. I said, I'm not sure why you're asking me. And I pretty much turned my back and walked away. But, man, that has just affected me so badly. Some of my best friends are fat, and I couldn't give a damn. I've been fat my whole life. I obviously don't look like that anymore, or she would have just shook her head at me as well. I'm so sorry. I'm so angry. I can't even describe how this old woman made me feel. I, I cried the whole way home. I just don't know where some people get off. Like, how? Dare she even come and say that to me? Sorry, I think I really needed to vent. Um, I told my husband when I got home and he said, oh, isn't that interesting what the skinny people say behind the fat people's backs? And um, my husband's the kind of man who couldn't care less if you were 280 pounds or 80 pounds. It just isn't an issue with him. He has plenty of friends who are overweight, he never hangs shit on them, he, he just doesn't see it because he's the kind of guy that sees what's on the inside and I'm very lucky like that. Um, but we had this discussion about, you know, uh, has everyone been talking about me behind my back that all those years, probably, you know, all my friends. Oh my God, I just cannot believe how judgmental some people can be and how far off the mark they are in what they think is being a good person. She didn't know this woman for a bar of soap. She didn't know her from a, a banana in a pile of bananas that she was looking at, you know? Sorry. I just don't know how to feel about it. I'm really cross that I didn't give her a piece of my mind. I walked away and I walked away and thought, oh, why didn't you say that? Oh, why didn't you say that? Do anyone ever do that? You walk away thinking, why didn't I just say that? That would have put her right in her place. Um, no, I'm too, I'm really not good at confrontation. She freaked me out and, um, she was also about, I don't know, 75, 80. You know, it's just sad. She was just sad. All right, well, on to me. I'm doing fine. I'm eating when I'm hungry. I reckon last night I overate. I reckon I overate. Um, I had to have a couple more mouthfuls, you know. So I'm still learning and um, still growing and learning all the time. Uh, but I didn't feel comfortable after those two extra mouthfuls. I knew I shouldn't have had them. I didn't feel guilty or bad about it, but I did remember how my body felt so that um, I don't want to feel like that again. It's really not comfortable. I don't like it. Um, I like just to be satisfied and yeah, or hungry so I can eat. Love being hungry. That's the issue, you see. I don't get hungry very often. I get hungry maybe twice a day and I've been off drops for two weeks. Um, so I still don't get very hungry. And uh, for a food addict like me, that's a big deal, you know?
when am I going to get hungry so I can eat that? <laughs> but uh, I imagine that I will get used to that as long as I don't just eat for no reason, you know. I've found myself wanting to emotionally eat when I um, had a bit of an altercation with my husband and we don't fight, we're not real fighters or anything, but um, he just really pissed me off before. I actually saw myself reach for a hot cross bun. <laughs> I was just going to go eat that hot cross bun. And um, thankfully for me, I did have a conversation with myself to ask myself if I was hungry. And I answered myself with, God damn, you know I'm not hungry. You know this is a completely separate issue than hunger. Um, so I dealt with it. And uh, I'm finding that just, it does work. Just sitting with your emotion, like I sat with that being, feeling pissed off. I just sat there and felt pissed off. And I swear within less than three minutes it had gone. And three minutes is a long time when you're sitting still with a feeling. But in the big picture, it's really no time at all. So I'm finding that um, eating for hunger is working for me. And that works when you meet your needs so I met my need I knew I was pissed off I let myself feel pissed off and the feeling passed and I wasn't hungry so um, just letting you know where I'm at that's going that's what I'm doing uh, Elena Marie you asked me what I was eating I am eating whatever I want I'm not doing p3 p4 nothing like that um, I just wait till I'm hungry and then I think about what I feel like eating and I must say it's not like I feel like eating Maccas or sweets or um, anything like that. I'm just eating normal food that my family's eating and I, mu I must admit that I'm eating a, a, an eighth of what I used to eat um, in that same meal. So for me um, it's starting to work but, but Elena Marie on the other hand I have chosen never to eat sugar. I don't want sugar in my body and I shouldn't say never because if I go out for dinner and there's sugar in my meal, I'm not going to worry about that. But I'm not going to go out and start eating sugary foods so I do make sure that I have sweets that I have made here, um, cakes and biscuits, breads and stuff like that like coconut bread that is sweet so that when I do want something sweet it's there, it's available to me. So um, that's how I'm dealing with my sugar cravings. I'm not denying myself sugar. Uh, I'm not denying myself fake sugar, Natvia, which is stevia, which is a natural plant. But I won't eat cane sugar very often. It would be, you know, a very rare thing for me to want to put cane sugar back into my system because and it's not about weight it's about how it makes me feel emotionally I um I am addicted to it I do get you know I need more and more all the time and then when I do have a lot of sugar I'm emotionally a mess I cry all the time I'm really up and down I get really moody and I discovered that on my um my last 10 week hiatus between round two and three, I went crazy. I went crazy on the sugar. And uh, a few weeks in, I was a mess. I almost had like depression symptoms. So for me, sugar's just not a great thing and not a great fit with me. But pretty much everything else, I'm eating dips and um, I even have been eating white bread, which has sugar in it, I know. Uh, but I'm not going out of my way to eat a lot of processed food food. I am pretty happy eating um, normal meals and if I snack I would eat nuts or perhaps some avocado dip with guacamole or something with fresh beans or carrots or snow peas. Um, what else do I snack on? I love making the coconut bread because I can, um, I don't put nearly as much stevia in it as the recipe says. I uh, just put a hint of sugar in it so that I can have something savoury on it or sweet and I really quite like it and I can't believe this is a nine and a half minute vlog. Unbelievable. Oh to go. Love you guys. Bye.